YouTube user Multipollinator was kind enough to send to me a private message regarding this amazing discovery that NASA has made that not even NASA knows about. I very much appreciate him sending this private message. I blocked it out for his privacy. He thought that I would have a great chuckle, and he was right. NASA has finally discovered the fact that tiny variations in Earth's sun, that is, Sol, can have a significant effect on Earth's climate. Of course, NASA has always stated the exact opposite, so has NOAA, so has every single researcher in the past, but hey, NASA has finally admitted it. Oh, wait a minute. It wasn't NASA who said that. It was a Petroleum Industries blog. Let's see what NASA, i.e. the National Research Council, actually stated. It stated in part that for at least the past 50 years, total solar irradiance has been decreasing, not increasing, and therefore, the current global temperature anomaly, that is the increase in global average temperature, cannot be explained by solar variation. The panel concluded that if solar variation has an effect on Earth's climate, that effect is so tiny that they cannot measure it. Dr. Raymond Bradley pointed out that if solar variation has an effect on Earth's climate, it would not be a temperature effect, but it would be an air circulation and eventually an ocean circulation effect, and not temperature. A fact that Anthony Watts mentioned in his Petroleum Industries blog, to which he also added... Quote, this fits in with the conclusion of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change and previous National Research Council reports that solar variability is not the cause of global warming over the past 50 years, unquote. Thus, we find that the headline given by Anthony Watts on his blog entry states the exact opposite of what the panel concluded. Tiny variations can have a significant effect on terrestrial climate. The panel said otherwise. The panel stated quite clearly that if there is an effect on Earth's climate due to solar variation, that effect is so tiny they have not been able to detect it. Now, why would Anthony Watts lie about what the scientists actually said and then give a link showing that he lied? I suggest only a psychiatrist could answer that question.